Hey y'all, it's Carol and welcome to my channel. I'm excited today because I am going to do a uh, makeup tutorial. <laughs> and this is my first one ever, so bear with me. Um, but my last video, which was my first video, I did the basic to body transformation. So this is gonna be the step-by-step -step of how I achieve that look. Um, so I've already moisturized my face and I use, I use the Seba Med um, face moisturizer. Here I'm gonna show you the liquid face and body wash that I used and this is amazing for sensitive skin um, I have super sensitive skin like it's really 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 bad um, but this has been amazing it's such a great product um, makes your skin super duper soft um, and that's what I've really been using for my face and I think it's worked pretty well um, I really like how my skin lo um, looks right now so I'm gonna continue using it um, and so, now that I've moisturized, I'm going to prime my face with um, e.l.f. Cosmetics Mineral Infused Face Primer, and I also have the Poreless Face Primer. Here's the mineral, if it'll focus, kind of. And then this is the Poreless Face Primer. Yep. Um, I don't really use, like, both at the same time and kind of just pick one. Um, I kind of like the mineral infused better, so we'll use that for today. So I tend to just use like the drugstore, drugstore foundation because it works for me best. The only thing that I don't like about um, this foundation, see my things coming off in my little styrofoam. I'm gonna take that off. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this foundation is that it makes my skin a bit oily um, but it's not bad um, I wouldn't say that it's full coverage I would say that it's like medium coverage I kind of like my foundations to be more of like a full coverage but um, it's fine I can't really I can't use a lot of different foundations, so this will have to do. Um, if you guys have like any recommendations or suggestions for like, uh, or makeup brands that have foundation that's good for sensitive skin, please let your girl know. <laughs> I'm done doing that I am going to use concealer so um, this is the NARS concealer that I got from Sephora it is not focusing it's fine um, in the color caramel and then I also have this concealer here from Milani and this is in the color pure beige so I like the Milani but I think I just got like a color that was too, it was too light. It's too white. Um, the NARS is a better color for me. Um, but even when I use a Milani, I'm able to like work with it. So I'll just use Milani and not put so much. Because I like the coverage of Milani better than the NARS. Yeah, I'm all about full coverage, you guys. All about full coverage. And then I also put concealer right on my nose. I'm trying to be careful oops, that I don't use too much because then we're gonna use a lot of time blending. All right. So then I just blend, blend, blend. my nose I like to have like more of a natural contour 
So what I do is just that I just use my finger and I kind of just make like a natural contour by like rubbing some of the, taking some of the um, concealer off. Okay, so after I put on my concealer, I set my face, um, and y'all, I am obsessed, obsessed with Becca Cosmetics um, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It is amazing. It is the best setting powder that I've ever used in my entire life, and you all need to go out and buy it because you won't regret it. Um, so this is... The setting powder in I think golden golden bronze yeah so what I love about this is that it has like a has like um a, a cooling effect to it so when you put it on your face it actually feels wet and it feels so good it's like actually super relaxing <laughs> So I kind of just set the places that I highlighted for the most part and then I kind of, after I'm done doing that, focusing on those areas, I kind of just like put it all over. Okay, and now I am going to use bronzer. So I use the Black Radiant Pressed Powder in Beautiful Bronze. And see it. And look right below my cheekbones. I don't really do it like precise or neatly. I kind of just, you know, just put it on, to be honest. And if I have like if I noticed that like while I was doing my highlight um, and concealing that if it's too white then I kind of just bronze to make up for it and not make myself look as pale but After that, so I've done that, I use blush. So this is a palette that I got off of Amazon called Beauty Glazed, I guess. Um, it's pretty good. Um, I want to invest on like better like palettes, but like I'm not, this is just what I use. Um, and I, for my blush, Yes, I use eyeshadow for blush. This is how I do my makeup. I'm gonna use this color right here. This one. And I don't, I don't, um, I don't put too much. Or I try not to, really. After I've done that, I highlight, which is like one of my favorite parts after concealing. Um, so I am going to use the NYX Liquid Illuminator. And this is in, what is this in? I don't know, Gleam, in Gleam, there we go. <laughs> so when I highlight, I actually just use my finger. And I use it on the bridge of my, on the tip of my nose. And on the bridge of my nose. And I kind of just like dab it. Just dab it a bit. Yeah. I think that's, it's all right. I might put a little, a little bit more. 
Sometimes, you know, I get a little carried away and it's a bit too, it's a bit much. Um, Cause this is like one of my favorite parts, but I think this is, this, this is good. This is good. All right. Um, so I used to highlight like my cheeks, but now I don't, I don't really like the look anymore. So I've stopped doing that. I am now going to do my eyeshadow. Now, hi eyeshadow has been like the hardest part for me as far as doing makeup. I'm not the best at eyeshadow at all. I'm still learning a lot about makeup. Um, but yes, I'm using that same palette, the, the same Amazon palette, Beauty Glazed. And I use like a lighter color like as my base. show you what I use so for my base I use this color right here you see that I'm like out of like my colors and now for my crease I'm going to use which color should I use well okay I think I used in the last video I think I used this color right here oh my gosh it's so hard to show colors this one I think that's the one that I used. So we're gonna use that for my crease. And I think what's helped me the most with eyeshadow, since it's the hardest part for me when doing makeup, is this angle brush. If you can see it. I don't even know if this is focusing. I feel like it's not. I don't think it is. But this angle brush is amazing. It's really helped me um, with my eyeshadow and making it the way that I want it. So. so the way that I use it is that like, you see that it's at, it's at an angle and it's not even. So the shorter end, I use that to kind of make it a more, I guess like, I would say like a triangle shape. I kind of did this part messy just now. I think it's probably because I'm talking. Yeah, but the shorter end helps you create like a triangle look that you want to go for when you're doing the crease. guys please like for sure comment below how I've done in this tutorial um, again this is like my first time I've never done anything like this ever but I'm doing the best I can <laughs> all right now I'm gonna do my other eye Using the same color, of course, same brush. This side is always a bit more difficult, but the same idea. You just kind of want that triangle shape. first time that I've not the first time ever but like the first few times that I've used like this angle brush and I've tried to like perfect my eyeshadow skills so it's a little it's a little difficult to got some on my nose all right
Okay. So it's not completely even, but we'll fix that. We will fix that. <laughs> So now I'll fix that after I've done my eyebrows, which we're about to do. do my eyebrows. So I use the I use Elf Cosmetics eyebrow pencil, and this is in deep brown, I believe. So Some people do their eyebrows as like the first thing before they even put on foundation. Some people do it right after they put on foundation. I kind of do it when I remember, honestly. But I, it tends to be like um, after I've done my concealer. So after my, yeah, after that is when I tend to do my eyebrows. Um, I don't always follow the same sequence honestly when I do my makeup the things that generally just the things that do stay the same are like obviously primer first then foundation then concealer those are the like those first three steps never change should have brushed it a little yeah I brush your eyebrows before you even start doing the pencil so with my eyebrows, like, they are pretty thick to begin with, um, and I don't have to fill in, like, as much, so I kind of just do, like, a natural sort of brow. I feel like my eyebrows are shorter than I'd like them to be, so I kind of just extend it at the end, and I kind of add hairs, like, it's like, the, like, it's like adding hairs when you do the pencil to make it kind of look natural and realistic. Um, I don't like doing brows that are, that look like they're painted on your, your face. I just like to make it look as natural as possible. So those are my brows. And now we are going to use the NARS concealer to shape the brows a little bit more and also take off like the excess, not take off, but kind of conceal the excess um, eyeshadow so it's like even on both sides. So I know you've, you've seen that now, like uh, I don't use a beauty blender. I use like a silicone sponge thing, whatever you call this. And I just like it better because I feel like it doesn't take off um, the product, you know, that you're using. It all goes on your face. It doesn't get soaked up. That's why I like this better. And I think it goes on a whole lot smoother as well. That is just my personal opinion. So all of that is done. Now I'm going to use this gold shimmer. <laughs> I think it's by NYX, it's kind of faded. Um, and New Daphne is what it's called. And put this. Good. And now I am going to do, 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 go back to using the NYX Illuminator and I'm going to 
put some on the inner corners of my eye. And now it's time for eyeliner. And for this, I also use Elf Cosmetics. And this is probably in like, I don't know if this is what I'm saying. This is probably in like black is black or something. What is it? Black. <laughs> yeah. NYX pencil. This one right here. It's like a jumbo, jumbo pencil. And this is in the color Rust. It's like um, I think it's like a brownish slash burgundy shimmer. What am I gonna do next? Yeah, so I usually moisturize my lips like after I moisturize my face and maybe like after primer if I forget, but I've like completely forgotten. Um, this is, I forgot to tell y'all. So this is Malin and Goat's Lip Moisturizer in Peppermint, excuse me, Peppermint and Lime. And it makes your makes your lips so soft, y'all. Mmm. Love it. Love it. And now I'm going to line my lips. And I use the now. The one product that I absolutely need when I do makeup is lip liner. Literally lip liner like if 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 i don't have my lip liner or if i've run out of lip liner while i'm doing my makeup then i will just hate my face honestly um so this lip liner is by mac the lip liner is by mac and it's in the color chestnut and i use this for like all all lip colors it doesn't matter which one i'm doing i always use chestnut my finger to kind of blend it out. And the color that I'm going to use for my lips is, uh, I think it's, what is this? Tastes Like Caramel by Max Studio. I don't know if you can see it. And I got this one from TJ Maxx. And it's really good, I love it. tutorial purposes I think it is it's all right okay 
don't know if I should add something else on my lips. I might do... Hmm. Add this. This is um from Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte in the color. It's a cream liquid lip in the color Perfection. I got this at their semi-annual sale. I usually never use Victoria's Secret makeup at all. Um, but because of their sale, this is something they have and it works pretty well. Okay, so we are done with that. And now, I'm gonna put on my mascara. So I guess like my top three favorite parts while doing makeup is concealer, highlight, and then false lashes. Lip liner too. All right. So these lashes I got from um, Rosé New York. I think they're called is, well I think, yeah, the brand is called Rosé actually, not Rosé New York. Rosé, um, And the eyelash, like, I guess the kind that I got is called New York. The name of it is called New York. So these are the lashes that I'm using. So, for glue, I love using the brand Duo. And I particularly like the one that, um, is this the black glue? Yeah, dark tone, dark tone, there we go. Because I feel like it's a better formula and it also dries quicker too. And then we're just gonna wait for them to dry. Mm -hmm. I guess I should talk about myself while, <laughs> while we wait for these to dry. Um, yeah, so I think my page is just gonna focus on like, I guess when I start school, it's mostly gonna focus on med student life. Um, I might do a couple of vlogs. I definitely wanna do a video on my white coat ceremony. I'm so excited for that, which is October 11th. So I probably will upload that like towards the end of that week or something, um, if I have enough time. My goal is to post once a week. That might be a little difficult, especially starting out like with med school, just trying to get the hang of things. So it might not be once a week, it might be once every two weeks. We're gonna see how that all plays out. Um, and then I guess for right now, I'm gonna be uploading like beauty, makeup, different things like that before I start school. Um, but I think once I start, it'll, it'll mostly be answering like pre-med questions, med school questions, things like that. Um, and then also, I wanted to do a couple of health videos. Some of you, I guess my friends, really my really close friends, and even some people that might follow me on social media know that I've been struggling with my weight lately. Um, so I also want to do a couple of videos on health and exercise, all that good stuff. So I'm really excited for this channel, you guys. I'm so excited, and I hope you enjoy everything and it's been so much fun just doing all this youtube stuff i'm really glad that i you know decided to go ahead and and do it because it is a lot of fun so thank you for watching and sticking with me and i hope you're here to stay now let's see if these lashes are dry yeah i think they're well we'll see okay So applying false lashes is not the easiest thing. I have to use tweezers. Okay, I don't think I, I didn't wait for these to dry long enough. So first I use tweezers and then I use my fingers and then I go back to tweezers, just getting it as close to the lash line as possible. I didn't wait for these to dry 
long enough so that's why it was a little bit more difficult just to lay it on so yeah wait for it to dry a little bit wait for it to get a little tacky before you apply it on your lash and just get it as close to the lash line as possible and then I also like to go in with the tweezers and press it down I think it's on there let's hope I think that'll do yeah So, after I have all of that on, my lashes and everything is put in place, I use the Matte Setting Spray by Black Radiance. <sighs> Alright, a tip that my friend gave me was that like after you have sprayed your setting spray, to kind of like dab it in and I put some powder on this as well a little bit of that bucket of cosmetics just dab it dab it dab it and there you go this is the final look this is pretty much how I did my look in that last video so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to share with all of your friends and I will see you next time. Bye.